Hi guys, this is Vaish from Vaish IAS. So we have completed uh, chapter 1 to 7 and also chapter 12 which we combined uh, with chapter 7 in the last video. And today we are going to go for chapter 8 which is a very very big chapter and very important chapter because like the name of the chapter you see National Movement 1905 to 1918. So we have already entered the 20th century over here and things are going to get more interesting and more important with respect to exam. UPSC puts a lot of questions from this particular era onwards, 1900s onwards till the time we get independent. So chapter 8, 9 and 10 are very big chapters which deals with the entire independence movement. Chapter 8 we will do it in one single video, might be a lengthy video so we will have to go fast. Please make notes if required, pause wherever required because there are a lot of content in each of the slides. We have tried to make this big chapter into 18 to 19 slides uh, which is like num uh, number of slides is very small because we have put lot of content in each slide. So make notes and uh, feel free to ask questions in your com in the comment section. So uh, let's begin. Chapter 9 and 10 will be even bigger. Chapter 9 will be done in 3 to 4 parts, not in single, we cannot do it in single video. Chapter 10 also will be done in the same way. So let's begin chapter 8. So first is why militant nationalism grew from 1890 onwards. This was actually a mains question asked few years back. Uh, why did from 1890 the way the nationalist approached the freedom struggle movement changed or how come militant nationalism uh, started in the last chapter we had seen how did nationalist uh, struggle begin so these points are similar to that almost similar to that but here we have to see the reasons for why uh, militant nationalism arose so because last time we learned only about moderates this time there will be two new groups one will be extremist and another will be the revolutionaries where Bhagat Singh and all will come up. So details will be seen in the next chapter but what were the reason for the rise of all these new groups we will see it here. First one is realization of true nature of the British not conceding any important request or needs. So they understood like Indians understood like the British is here only for profit motive and they are not going to do anything for the Indians even though the Indian National Congress has been uh, raising their demands every now and then. Economic mysteries from 1896 to 1900s. We learnt already like a lot of famines were happening and killed lakhs of Indians but no action was being taken. Instead the famines were actually forced upon to the Indians by the British policies. They were actually storing all the food grains and all for their own uh, uh, profit sake or their own uh, uh, consumption and nothing was given to the Indians who were actually dying without food grains. Dissatisfied by the approach of moderates. So moderate's approach is always 3P approach, that's how it's mentioned in the spectrum, prayers, petitions and protest. This is what they always do and it was always a softer approach and British never even cared. They will listen to the petitions and take no actions. Also if action is taken, it would be just to appease the moderates for a short while and there will be no long term impact. Growth of education educated but unemployed this was the condition of indians at that time even now we have this problem and the government is working somehow to increase the employment uh, chances for the educated youth so uh, the educated youth being uh, gaining knowledge from uh, uh, the institutions about lot of things happening around the world they realized the real plight of the nation they were not now restricted to only pockets they could know a nation wide uh, 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 problematic situation and they could uh, uh, come forward to take action against them. Reaction to increased westernization. So again Vivekananda uh, we have learned last uh, last uh, chapter glorious trade relations. India's glorious past was highlighted by social leaders like Vivekananda and Indians wanted to gain back that self-respect and that status of India where India was one of the richest and finest country and so Indians wanted to uh, gain back that. Dayanand Saraswati's quote is there, India for the Indians. So he wanted a complete uh, freedom from all the foreigners who comes to India and India should be for the Indians, the real Indians who live here. International influence. So international influence we already know through education. Uh, the Indians uh, started learning about the French Revolution, American Revolution, idea of liberty, equality, justice and all. Other than that, in the 18, late 1890s or 1900s, there were a series of wars or international happenings in which British started losing very badly. And because of that, 
uh, Indians were motivated to start a revolutionary group. We'll see some of the events. 1870s, Japan's growth. An Asian country grew without any help. They grew by themselves and it was a very small island country and they became one of the uh, most developed countries. Uh, like you know now, Japan is one of the most developed countries in the world. So they grew by themselves. 1896, defeat of Italian army by the Ethiopians. So African countries, small African colonized countries started defeating European powers. 1899-1902, the British faced reverses in Boer Wars. So right side there is a book related to that. Uh, again in Africa, they started facing reverses, the British. 1905, Japan not only grew as a country in economy, but they also got a great military power and they started winning wars over Russia. Russia was one uh, a great power at that time. Rise of militant school of thought and leadership. So many new leadership were coming or rising from different parts of India, unlike the moderates who were softer in their approaches, these militant leaders were revolutionaries or they had an extreme approach. They will be later called the extremists. So some of the leaders are Punjab, Lala Lajpat Rai, Maharashtra, Balgangada Tilak and Vishnu Shastri, Siplunkar, Bengal, Bipin Chandrapal, Aurobindo Ghosh, Ashwini Kumar Tata, Raj Narayan Bon. All these people are important and the journals related to them will be there here and there in each slide. Please make a note as and when we learn about them. Curzon's policy. As we knew, Curzon was the one who will uh, initiate the partition of Bengal and he had a lot of policies which are anti-Indian or which created hatred in the minds of Indian against the Britishers. So some of the acts names are there, Official Secrets Act, Indian University Acts, Calcutta Corporation Act and of course the partition of Bengal which we will be learning in detail in the next few slides. So Swadeshi movement and boycott movement, one of the most favorite topics of UPSC so please make notes or take down whatever is required from this slide. December 1903, the British India government announced the partition. That is, of course, Curzon, Lord Curzon announced the partition of Bengal. The reason he gave was, Bengal has one-fourth of the population of entire British India. So it is tough to manage such a huge population by uh, keeping it as one province or one state. And the partition was on the basis of language as well as religion. And what they did was a trick which was used was they wanted to uh, uh, make this a, uh, a less violent one and so the, they told like uh, the eastern side of the uh, Bengal would be for Muslims and Dhaka would be made the capital so Muslims were appeased by this Dhaka will be made capital and will have unification so the Muslims who be minority of in, uh, in the Indian population they were always appeased by this popular trick of divide and rule played by the uh, British Governor Generals or Viceroys. But the actual reason or the hidden agenda was to break the nerve center of nationalism against INC. So even in the last slide if you saw the leader names uh, compared to Bengal, uh, the other places had less number of nationalist leaders. Bengal always had lot of nationalists. Like the picture you here you see is Surendranath Banerjee. All those uh, strong leaders were there in Bengal and they wanted to split it so that the uh, actual nationalist movement begins to degrade and they wanted to take some action against INC whom they used to call as disloyal babus we have seen it in the last video so we'll see the protest in two phases 1903 to 1905 it will be moderates protest and after 1905 it will be extremists protest Surendranath Banerjee, K.K. Mitra, Prithvish Chandra Ray, these are moderate leaders and these are some of the journals, Bengali, Sanjeevani, Hitabdi, newspapers. August 1905, Swadeshi and boycott movement was declared by the moderates. Again in 1905, October, the partition of Bengal actually happens. So, the people in Bengal with the leaders, they uh, marched on the streets. Early morning they bathed in the Ganga which was considered holy. They tied rakis of unity, marched across singing Bande, Badram, Bande Matram song which was famous at that time. Bande Matram was taken from Anandmat. Anandmat was a work by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Please remember these facts. And uh, they started boycotting all foreign goods including Manchester cloth and Liverpool salt. Now we we'll see important leader names which are important for prelims. Chidambaram Pillai was the leader at Tamil Nadu, this is for Swadeshi movement. 
Lal Lajpat Rai and uh, Ajit Singh at Punjab. Ajit Singh was actually a relative of Bhagat Singh. Said Haider at Delhi, Bal Gangadhar Tilak at Pune and Bombay. Congress position, 1905, these are the president, Indian National Congress president names of those years. We have already seen Indian National Congress uh, formation in the last uh, chapter. 1905, Gopala Krishna Gokhale and 1906, Dada Bhai Naroji. So, instead of learning all the president's names by heart, each, and e each event when we learn, try to relate during that timeline who was the Indian National Congress president. Similar to the way you learn how uh, viceroys and the generals were coming in from time to time. So, same way you should learn the Indian National Congress president names also. So, 1905 is Gopala Krishna Gokhale, 1906 is Dada Bhai Naroji. He, they also believed in three Ps, the prayer, petition, protest theory and did not want pan-India movement, instead demand self-rule. This was the position of the moderate rulers. This is what was happening between 1903 and 1905. Surat split will happen in 1907. We have a detailed slide later. We will see that why the Surat split happened or what was the Surat split. Swadeshi and boycott movement again in 1905-1908 were led by the extremist. So in picture you can see Lal Bal Pal and Ghosh, the famous trio with Ghosh. Lal Lal Rajpatrai, Balgam Gadatilak, Bipin Chandra Pal and Arbindo Ghosh. Government banned the marches and public singing of Bande Madaram. Burned for, this is what they did, burn foreign clothes, refusal of exchange of foreign good, the washerman who want to wash foreign clothes, uh, public meetings and protests, boycott colleges, officers, courts, public services. So, Every sector, every field in the economy or in the society was being boycotted by the uh, Indians under the leadership of extremists. The moderates even were much softer but the extremists were burning clothes and everything was being protested. Prelims perspective, there are a few points mentioned here. Just make a note. Political freedom is the life breath of a nation. This was a quote by Arbindo Ghosh. Swadeshi Bandhav Samiti, it was found by Ashwini Kumar Datta. Ganapati and Shivaji festivals were organized by Bal Ganga Dattilak. National Education, Shantini Ketan was a uh, very popular uh, institution or uh, ad hoc for uh, national education which was promoted to the highest level during the Swadeshi movement because they boycotted all the schools and colleges which were constructed or uh, set up by the Britishers. Bengal school where Ghosh was the principal is also another body. So remember Shantini Ketan and Bengal school. National Council of Education was set up, Bengal Institute of Technology was set up. So many many uh, Indian origin uh, institutional set, uh, setups were being uh, rising at this time. Cultural uh, growth was happening with Rabindranath Tagore uh, writing the Amar Sonar Bangla which becomes the uh, national song for uh, or the national anthem for Bangladesh later. Abhindranath Tagore, Abhindranath Tagore, who is the nephew of Rabindranath Tagore and Nandilal Bose, they were famous for Indian paintings and they were rejecting all the western kind of art or architecture and even Raja Ravi Verma is there. We have done about paintings in our chapter 1 also. So these names are coming there too. So remember these names, culturally, education wise, economy wise, everywhere Indians were trying to set up their own institutions. Now the participation, this is also prelims based, uh, UPC has asked multiple times like who participated or who stayed away. So students, women, few Muslim leaders like Liaquat, Maulana Azad, Abdul Rasul, they participated. Lower middle classes in cities and towns, certain sections of Zamindas also participated in the Swadeshi and boycott movement. But who stayed away? The upper middle class Muslims, the Muslim peasantry, stayed away. 1907, All India Muslim League was formed to add to this distance. So already upper class Muslims were not participating and Muslims were not there in much numbers. Uh, like if you remember 1857 revolt, Hindu Muslim unity was its, at its peak. But in Swadeshi movement if you see, a lot of Muslims stayed away. So that was the uh, negative side of it. 1911, seeing the violent protest, the government had to annul the partition. So they actually told like, okay, there is no partition now and it is again one geographical region. But you know like, at present we have West Bengal and Bangladesh as two separate things. And uh, even when Pakistan was formed, but, uh, Bangladesh, that is East Bengal at that time was given to Pakistan, being a majority of Muslims. 
so why the movement actually stopped being popular by 1908 like we saw like two, in two phases we saw at moderates and extremists so extremist phase was 1905 1908 so why did it actually become unpopular because of severe government repression obviously when the government sees someone is rising or someone is raising slogans against the government they will come up with their force and they will arrest all the leaders they failed to create an effective party structure and there was no disciplined focus so everybody were on the streets burning clothes or doing something but there was no unity or a effective structure arabindo ghosh and bipin chandra pal retired from active politics at that time and they went to different different places arabindo ghosh goes to south india and settles in pondicherry and uh, lala lajpat rai went abroad also bipin chandra pal sorry uh, bal ganga the tilak was actually arrested and sent to mandalay in burma he'll come back later we'll see in the same video uh, so and again uh, the extremist they were like violent in or uh, violent or they were more of uh, showing passive resistance on the streets but they failed to reach the actual masses they the leaders did not effectively tap the new energy like the masses were ready to come and help but the leaders did not use them effectively non cooperation and passive resistance uh, effective is like exactly ineffective for a long term leaders perspective was also a problem they did not have a unified goal if you see tilak wanted some kind of self governance that is some kind of self uh, representation or something like what the moderates wanted but gorsh on the other hand he wanted full independence so the leaders themselves did not have a proper ideology then how will the movement succeed tilak's opposition to age of consent bill like if you remember in the last slide we had last chapter we had learned like the age of marriage for girls was raised from 10 to 12 by the britishers but tilak opposed it telling like you are interfering into indian traditions so these kind of awkward or weird uh, oppositions created a confusion or hatred in the minds of people like why is tilak doing such a thing like uh, because age uh, the increasing of age is actually good and also hindu festivals he organized the uh, ganapati and shiva festival which he told in the last slide so he people started to see him as pro hindu and not a actual national level leader and in the speeches they were doing revival speeches so again hinduism so leaders were considered like hindu leaders and muslim leaders the national concept was uh, losing its scope suraj split also happened in 1907 so that is another major reason why the swadeshi movement slowly slowly came to an end we'll see suraj split in the next slide so what was the suraj split actually suraj we already saw the president names 1905 it was gopalakrishna gokhale and 1906 it was dada bhai dada bhai naroji the pictures are given in the right side the bottom right it is Ra- rash bihari ghosh so what happened was meanwhile the swadeshi and boycott movement was happening the president uh, the inc presidential meetings were happening as per planned in december in 1905 it happened in banaras moderates wanted constitutional means and within bengal so moderates actually wanted the swadeshi movement to be within bengal and not a national level movement because they thought the masses are not yet ready for a pan india movement and always approached the ppp method the extremist on the other hand wanted passive resistance like burning clothes and boycotting everything and also extend outside bengal but the moderates anyway passed the resolution supporting swadeshi and boycott movement so split avoided at this stage so there were differences in opinion but the moderates agreed to the swadeshi and boycott movement so split did not happen at that time but slowly slowly differences were increasing 1906 dada bhai naroji becomes the president in calcutta actually at this time the extremist wanted someone among themselves to become the president they wanted bal gangadhar tilak or they wanted uh, lal lalpat rai they wanted someone from their side to become the indian national congress president because always it is the moderates who is becoming the president but now what happened is the moderates played a trick dada bhai naroji was the senior most person or senior most congress leader so no one will uh, protest against his nomination for the presidency some of the moderates will make dada bhai naroji the president extremists were gaining popularity wanted tilak or lal lalpat rai but moderates played the trick of suggesting senior most person and one declared goal need swarajya or self government so this is actually another potential question upsc will ask like in which congress session was the term swarajya or self government first used so it is 1906 under the presidency of dada bhai naroji in calcutta it was mentioned only but not defined they did not have a clear cut meaning of what is the actual meaning of swarajya okay so it happened in 1906 moderates dream see indian participation administration extremists goal widespread resistance and fight for several both have a different ideology 
again these two terms are important for UPSC aspirants as well dream and goal you should not say like you have a dream to become a UPSC uh, sorry a UPSC uh, uh, officer after this you don't you should not say like you want to uh, you have a dream like you want to become a yes it should be a goal because dream is something where you just have a vision but you don't have a plan goal is something where you set plans and then you work for it so always you should have a goal not a dream okay let's continue so 1907 now the next year December again session has come so what happened is this time they uh, extremist at any cost they wanted someone from their side to become the president so what happened is if you remember in the last video we had explained what is the condition for becoming the president the play person cannot be from that particular home state from at where the session is happening so the uh, moderates again played the trick they uh, made the session to happen at Surat now Surat is the home state of Bal Gangadhar Tilak so he obviously cannot file the nomination to become president and Rashmihari Ghosh was made so extremists wanted session at Nagpur so that Tilak can be made president but moderates again played trick of keeping session at Surat suggested Rashmihari Ghosh instead and now the split was inevitable meaning the split could not be stopped it had to be split into two and extremists will walk out of the Indian National Congress so that is the Surat split so now you know in detail about how the proce events proceeded and you can write an answer if anything is asked about Surat split and the president names also. Also one more thing, 1907 and 1908. In, in both years it was Raj Bihari Ghosh. He became president consecutively, which is a rare thing which happens. Consecutively he became president in 1907 and 1908. Just remember that fact. Now we will see differences between moderates and extremists. We have seen like how they started their uh, work towards national struggle but we will see what were the basic differences between the two. So moderates they were popular among zamindars and upper middle class in town. Extremists on the other hand they were more popular among educated middle class and lower class. Moderates had western liberal thought. Extremists they were more of traditional and Indian history culture symbols were promoted by them. Moderates were partially you can say loyal to the British crown but extremists they considered the crown unworthy of claiming loyalty. They considered them as a total enemy and they wanted to throw them out of India. Moderates thought British would help if come to know real situations. That is why they wrote their prayers, petitions and all those things in a softer way. But extremists knew like British interests were only of exploitation and they only had profit motives. Moderates felt masses not yet ready to participate in political work. We have already seen this. But extremists had immense faith in masses and they wanted to bring them to the national struggle front. Moderates demanded constitutional reforms. But extremists demanded Swaraj and only Swaraj. They wanted self-governance. Moderates were patriots. Both were patriots actually, but moderates is like doing everything in a constitutional way and not believed in sacrifice or going into violent struggle. Extremists on the other hand were patriots who made sacrifices. They did not care about the government position or the INC presidentship much. The only time they did was because they felt moderates are going very soft onto the British. That is why the Surat split also happened. So these are basic differences. This is given like this in spectrum. I have made it in simpler uh, format so that you can understand because spectrum has more longer longer sentences and little bit complicated. So I made this for your reference. Please make a note of this. It can be a question and it is very useful for you. Rise of revolutionary. So now we'll go for the third group. Government's strategy was basically of three steps: repression, conciliation, and suppression. So repression is like. In a softer way, they'll go and uh, try to stop things which is being done by the nationalist. Conciliation is like the carrot policy, characteristic policy when we told last time, uh, the carrot part of it. They'll give some small uh, appeasement kind of policy, some reforms, just to keep the leaders silent. But actually, in the long term, it will be of no gain for the Indians. Suppression will be if uh, Indians get onto the streets with violent struggle, they will suppress them with violent methods or punitive charges. See again the same thing, mild repression, 
a peace moderate with reforms final suppression of extremists so this is the three steps of repression conciliation and suppression leaders were getting suppressed but the youth were now into militancy and were looking for any chance to go against the government so the youth is the one who is the part of revolutionaries but they did not believe in violent mass struggle but believed in russian and irish methods of individual heroism if you know at that time parallelly in world history russian revolution happens and also uh, the russian uh, style of a uh, protest was individual heroism the communist style or you can call that time it was individual heroism was it at, at its peak someone will go and shoot a governor general someone will throw a bomb at some assembly they will do individual heroic activity so the youth was basically attract, attracted to that and not like go on to the street in huge numbers and do master it so and how will they fund get their funds they will do dacoities they will loot the armories they loot the uh, financial officers or the trains carrying money so we'll see a lot of interesting things which the revolutionaries actually do in the upcoming slides and chapters so let's see what was the disadvantages actually of the overall things which are happening now over emphasis on hindu religion which kept most of the muslims away we have already seen senior leaders were doing uh, activities or which are related to more of pro hindu so the muslims started keeping away the idea of individual heroism kept master glave so the youth were doing individual heroism and so masses could not understand how they can contribute to the national struggle isolated events were happening in different different pocket pockets of area because there is no mass struggle there is no march or there is no strong leader because mahatma gandhi is yet to come in picture okay so those are few disadvantages next prelims perspective a lot of factual information were there so i thought to combine everything and put it in one slide from this chapter there are more big big things or detailed main type of questions to be learned after this but just this slide will be prelims perspective 1879 a ramosi peasant revolt happens which was led by vasudev balwant phadke this was asked two or three times in upsc prelims uh, like what is he related to or they asked the other way ramo who is the leader of ramosi peasant revolt so make a note vasudev balwant phadke 1902 first revolutionary group in bengal at midnapur under gyanendranath basu this is a revolutionary group which came up first in bengal and the leader is gyanendranath basu anushilan samiti is a very important body from which lot of revolutionary youth comes out and it was found by pramotha mitra giving training to members yugantar weekly started by varendra kumar ghosh and bupendra datta who were members of members of anushilan samiti sachin sanyal and rash bihari bose this one these two are very important characters who will keep coming in picture every now and then they were part of a lot of uh, uh, national movements and you have to remember one thing this is rash bihari bose who are we were talked uh, during the suraj split was rash bihari ghosh okay they are two different personalities rash bihari ghosh was a moderate and rash bihari bose is a revolutionary they organized the secret society so you should know secret society was started by sachin sanyal and rash bihari bose in punjab delhi up now few important names 1897 chapekar brothers are there who are actually the disciple of tilak they killed a plague commissioner of pune whose name was rand pune it was like affected by plague a disease at that time an epidemic and uh, at that time because of uh, unwelcoming british policies the youth chapekar brothers they wanted to show off whatever agitation they had and they killed the plague commissioner 1899 savarkar brothers are there veer savarkar and his brother is there they organized mitra mela later merged with abhinav bharat so you should know abhinav bharat and mitra mela these two are related to savarkar brothers you should all these brothers brothers thing are very very important when it comes to prelims later you will learn also the ali brothers in khilafat movement and in uh, decline of mughals we had seen sayed brothers who were king makers who helped farooq siar become the king so whenever this brothers thing come please make a note because match the following questions can be easily framed out of it 1907 yugantar group attempted murder of sir fuller again individual heroic activities yugantar group is actually again a revolutionary group here you see yugantar weekly similar to that at the same time yugantar group was there 
1908-1909 2 1907-1909 1905 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909 1909
separate electorates for Muslim, which is which was a landmark change at that time, and it is asked by UPSC multiple times in which reforms or which act. It is also called the Indian Councils Act 1909. Separate electorates, eight seats were given, income qualification kept low, lower for them. So they were. It's kind of a small kind of reservation kind of thing started. Indirect elections had started. We are already seen in the last video when we discussed Indian Councils Act 1892, which was the reforms before this. That time also slight elections had started. So here, indirect elections were in full flow where local body will nominate the electoral college and that electoral college would elect provincial legislature and this provincial legislature will go and elect the central legislature. So indirectly elections are happening and people were starting to slowly involve in elections. Now they could ask questions and also supplementary questions. Last time, if you in the last reform, it was like ask only the questions. Separate items on budgets could be voted on. Last time it was like they could discuss the budget but cannot vote. And this time it is like vote separately but not as a whole. So slowly, slowly improvements are being made. This was actually trick played by the Viceroy so that the moderate leaders or Congress leaders will stay loyal to them. One Indian was appointed in a Viceroy's Executive Council. So, like you know, there was a Executive Council which was directly under Viceroy and there would be a Legislative Council where all the other members would be there. So, for the first time in the Executive Council, one Indian got entry and the name becomes important, Satyendra Sinha. No great political gain for Indians, more or less just confused the moderates and tried to break unity by giving separate electorates. So, in one reform they are doing all the needed things which they wanted the Britishers. They confused the moderates also, they appeased the Muslims also. And the Muslim League appeased only few elites. The last statement is very important that is what I have been telling. The Muslim League appeased only a few elites who themselves called the representatives of the entire Muslim community in India. Revolutionary activities during World War One. You know, World War ha One happened at the same time, 1914-1918, and we learned this in world history. Uh, Britain, France, Russia, USA was on one side, and Germany, uh, Austria, Hungary, and Turkey was on the other side. So, if you see, you know, Britain, France, Russia, USA, these are again the permanent members in the United Nations uh, Security Council, along with China, who will be joining in World War Two. So, that is how the permanent five was formed. Okay, that's just another fact. So let's continue. Moderate supported seeing it as duty and expecting reforms in return. So these are now they will tell about the stance of three types of groups in India: moderates, extremists, and revolutionists. Moderate supported because they thought if they help, something will they will also get in return after the war. Extremists also supported because they thought they can demand self-rule in return for their help. But now revolutionaries, the third group, they decided to use this opportunity to wage a war on British rule. Okay, they were not concerned about, uh, or they already knew like these uh, uh, Britishers are not going to do anything for the Indians. So they decided to wage a war. And so parallelly, mutinies happens across the world. Mutiny in Singapore, a Punjabi regiment, Muslim fifth Punjabi Muslim fifth light infantry, and 36th Sikh, uh, Sikh battalion. You don't need to remember the names at all. Uh, Jamadar Chishti Khan, Jamadar Abdul Ghani, Subaidar Daud Khan, many, uh, a few leaders uh, went against or formed a mutiny. We knew about lot, we learnt about lot of Sepoy mutinies when we learnt 1857 revolt. Similarly, a mutiny in 1915 happened. Many were killed and many were arrested and hanged, uh, like 37 is the number given, and 41 transported for life. Like people are sent to Kalapani or people are sent into uh, Burma, Rangoon jail. So, like that, people were transported for life. Activities within India, what was happening in both the sides, Punjab in the west and Bengal in the east. Bengal leaders were again, see, Raj, Raj Bose and Sachin Sanyal. They were helping the Gadar revolutionaries. We will see the Gadar movement in the next slide, which is a very important uh, world event and which is very uh, popular in news also nowadays. They got pistols and rounds of ammunition from Rada firm in Calcutta. So, like we told, uh, in uh, if a resemblance to the Russian or Irish method for individual funding or individual heroic activities, they were gathering these arms and ammunition. Jatin Mukherjee, who was popularly known as Baga Jatin, was mentioned in Spectrum, so you also have to learn. He disrupted the railway, captured Fort William, land and was landing of Germany. This was actually his vision or what he wanted to do, but it was actually foiled. The plans foiled due to poor planning and coordination. 
he died a hero's death at orissa so just remember the name he was a leader revolutionary leader at orissa jatin mukherjee popularly known as baga jatin now the story of gadar and this koma Komagata Maru incident, which is very fa famous incident, and recently the uh, leader of Canada, he actually apologized to India on on its anniversary. If you are following current affairs, you would have heard about Kom Komagata Maru incident. We will see what was the actual incident now. In North America, many Indians had gone there actually. Soldiers and peasants had gone there in search of better opportunities because in India they were struggling for a livelihood. In 1911. these leaders also reached over there lala hardyal tarak this taraknath das okay taraknath das ramdas puri gd kumar sohan singh you don't, you don't need to remember all the names but lala hardyal and taraknath das is very important they also reached north america so initial bodies were set up in the foreign we know a lot of bodies which set up in india but at foreign two important bodies are there at vancouver and seattle and the names are swadesh sevak home and united india house try to remember these names vancouver and seattle Okay. Nineteen thirteen, Gadar, a weekly newspaper, was established, and its headquarters was at San Francisco. This is this is also asked at UPSC prelims multiple times. So please remember San Francisco, Gadar. Leaders were again Lala Hardyal, Ramachandra, Bhagwan Singh, Kartar Singh, Barkatulla. All these people again comes into picture in uh, struggle in within India also. What is the Komagatu Maru incident? it created an explosive situation in punjab actually what happened was there was a ship which was carrying about 370 passengers mainly punjabi sikhs and muslims and it was traveling from singapore to vancouver okay in canada but the canadian authorities they turned back they did not allow the ship to stop there or uh, uh, dock there and they did not allow the people to enter into canadian soil this was actually because Brit of british influence british had influenced the canadian authorities and told do not allow them to come over there because the british will never allow any indians to live or settle in peace anywhere at that time so after two months of uncertainty that means people were almost in the ship itself in the sea and uh, they could not uh, enter there so the ship came back and it anchored at calcutta in 1914 but now the inmates the people in the ship told we don't want again to be settled in india we want to go back to canada itself and conflict obviously arises at that time 22 people died the uh, gadar decided to interfere okay kartar singh and uh, lagu ragubar dayal gupta dayal gupta were sent to india from north america they came to india and also last slide we saw like rash bihari bose and sachin sanyal they were here at india helping the gadar leaders this is what we saw in the last slide funds were raised by public authorities but the mission failed due to treachery again someone from within leaked the news of uh, rashbihari bose sachin sanyal everybody gathering funds and arms and weapons and all and again so because of indians within the group who were uh, cheating their own people many got arrested and the whole uh, conflict were going again in favor of the british so because the canadian authorities did not allow this is why the canadian leader recently in public he apologized to indian uh, government numerous court martials severe punishment special courts detention without trial sachin sanyal transported for life okay now i think we don't hear sachin sanyal anywhere in the next uh, stories to come but rash bihari Uh, boss will again come into picture because he escaped to japan and from there later when subhash chandra boss reaches japan he meets them there meets him there so rash bihari boss have been in picture like i told in multiple events very famous events you will see rash bihari boss in picture now the next important thing in this chapter is home rule league movement which is again a favorite topic of upsc in response to world war 1 a, a more effective movement was launched okay home rule league uh, movement was not a thing which started in india it started outside india in lines of irish home rule league the factors leading to the movement so why did or how did this come into india we we'll see the factors this can be a question so please make a note of it instead of isolated events it, india needed a organized pressure unit so that is why the idea of home rule league came into existence that too by annie besant we'll see the details 
moderates were dissolution by the morley minto reform we saw like morley minto gave some weird kind of appeasement policy through reforms and the moderates were now silent they were like happy like okay they have given us these many representation they have given these many seats they have taken one indian to executive council so moderates were like stopping to raise their voice people were under pressure war time series high taxation you know like for world war 1 for the for funding the soldiers and giving them food indians were taxed at double or triple rate and entire money was going into the funding of the world world war soldiers of the british so people were under pressure tilak was released from mandalay if you remember he was sent to mandalay after the swadeshi movement now he is back and he is ready to take up leadership and indians wanted to set up an independent body involving all the nationalists you know like moderates and extremists has split so they wanted a common body where everyone will come together again and fight against a common cause any percent wanted to expand her sphere of activity in india if you remember last chapter when we studied uh, social movements uh, last to last chapter social movements theosophical society by madam blavatsky we had learned and any percent was a part of it so she wanted to expand her activity in india and so she thought of making a home rule version for india that is how home rule movement started so how did the proceedings happen in 1914 inc session uh, tried to compromise between extremists and moderates you know like 1907 they were split so 1914 they tried but it failed 1915 again they tried but it again failed but congress approved of a program of educative propaganda and upliftment of local level committees so they did not uh, agree to uh, compromise with extremists but they agreed like okay we can form some body for progressive education so that is how home rule league movement will start the movement was launched activities what they did was promoted political education started national libraries holding conferences taking classes for students organizing plays religious songs newspapers collecting funds so other than the indian national congress now another big or important body is home rule movement prelims perspective we'll see information about home rule legal it's, it's about lot of it's picked up from spectrum and also from questions which have been already asked so please make a note of all these things any percent two newspapers related to her as new india and common weal leaders Annie Besant was the leader at Madras, Bombay City, and rest of India. Rest of India, I will tell because we will see Balganga. The Balganga Talak is only in Maharashtra region, excluding Bombay City. Okay, only in that sphere he was the leader. See, if you see, Bombay City is under Annie Besant. So don't get confused. UPSC can confuse you here because we will always think like Balganga Talak was always in charge of entire Maharashtra, but here Bombay City was. under any percent and the rest of india also so and it had it was even a wider one hundreds of branches balgunga talak had only six branches and other important names are george arundale cp ramaswami ayer and bw wadia at the end of the chapter we will put mcqs also related to this so it will be more clear later the people who joined are motilal nehru jawaharlal nehru jinna madan mohan malaviya balu bai desai cr das lala lajpat rai and members of servants of india society who started the servants of india society we have already done this in the last chapter try to recall and try to answer this in comments because if you start learning now only then you will be able to recall it in the actual prelims exam it has been asked once in upsc servants of india society is related to whom so please try answering it and who are the ones who did not join anglo indians majority of muslims because they felt alienated they thought again this is a hindu major majority group because balgunga tilak was leading one of the uh, section what was the government's reaction government obviously came up with repression students were banned from meeting publicly tilak banned to enter punjab and delhi so lot of restrictions were being put by the government any besant bp wadia and george arundel was arrested and this was a very famous event because after this Uh, subramaniam ayer he renounced his knighthood in protest like people will get the title of sir or something that is called knighthood so that night he actually gives up his knighthood and this is asked in upsc multiple times subramaniam ayer was the one who gave up his knighthood later when you uh, learn jallianwala bag rabindranath tagore will give up his knighthood so this becomes important so this is a quote by montagu the viceroy at that time sorry montagu was the secretary of state uh shiva cut his wife to 52 pieces only to realize he had 52 wives so it means the government thought like by arresting few and by uh, 
doing some restrictions or ban it will come to an end but what happened was it again widened and people again started coming in protest of the arrest like example of re renouncing the knighthood and all so that is the significance of this quote Anne Besant was released from jail in June 1917 and later she was made the INC president that year so she was the first woman president of Indian National Congress this is also a prelims question the first indian is not uh, anne besant it is sarojini naidu later i think in about 1925 she becomes the president so remember names like this all in all only i think three women had become the president of indian national congress before independence after independence you obviously you know indira gandhi sonia gandhi everyone will become but before independence the indian national congress body had only i think three try to find out the third name one is anne besant one is sarojini naidu Home Rule League, even though it became such a popular body, it faded out by 1919. So, what were the reasons? Lack of effective organization. Then, communal rights witnessed in 1917-18. We saw like the Muslim League Act being formed in 1907, and the later years saw a lot of communal clashes between Hindus and Muslims for unwanted or uh, British forced policies or reasons. British always played the game of divide and rule, and communal clashes were happening. So, there was no unity among leaders. moderates were pacified by montagu statement in 1917 so similar to how moderates were pacified by the morley minto reforms in 1909 the next one government of india act 1919 that is montagu chamber for reforms which came in 1919 two years before that itself montagu had given a statement i'll show you the statement at the end of this slide that particular statement again appeased the moderates extremist approach of passive resistance again increased the distance so again moderate extremist problem was going on montego chamsor reform 1919 gave against changed mentality and approach so all in all the same point being repeated again tilak had to go abroad for a case any patient was arrested movement leader so it is when that happened that slowly so and also you know any patient was made the president of indian national congress so home rule league lost its relevance because the main leader she is also moving into inc and becoming the president over there so the home rule league movement slowly slowly lost its relevance what were the significance of home rule league movement it was a non violent movement and it prepared masses for gandhian style of politics in the next chapter onwards we will start gandhian style because gandhi arrives in india in 1915 almost the same time but the first one or one and a half years he does not involve in any of these movements he will be traveling around india uh, after the advice of Gopala Krishna Gokhale, because he was coming back from South Africa after lot of uh, solving lot of issues over there, so he wanted to study the entire picture of India and only then participate in any movement. So this Home Rule League was actually preparing the masses for non-violent style of politics. So not only for elite class, masses also involved. So that was one difference between INC and Home Rule. Montego Chamber for Reforms were influenced by Home Rule agitation. So seeing the Home Rule movement only. the british has started giving more and more rights to the people through new reforms efforts made for reunion of extremists and moderates because we saw like any wasn't wanted a body where everyone will come together new dimension of national struggle sense of urgency so this showed like indians could not wait much more and they wanted the britishers to give self governance to india as soon as fast as soon as possible now the montagu statement which we referred in the earlier part of the slide it is the government policy is of an increasing participation of indians in every branch of administration and gradual development of self governing institution with a view to progressive re realization of responsible government in india as an integral part of british empire so montagu told like the government is basically aiming at forming policies such that gradually or slowly indians will enter into the uh, governing institutions and progressive Uh, development or responsible government will be formed in india and but it will be part of integral part of british empire only but indians will be representing more and indians will have a right to self governance so he told a statement like this but obviously when we rain, uh, learn the reforms later we will see like not much has happened they even they tried lot of things in 1919 but it was just again a peacement politics alone this is the last Uh, uh section of this chapter like lucknow session of inc 1916 it was presided over by ac majumdar so the president in 1916 is ac majumdar 1917 it will be anibesant we saw it in the last slide okay now 
1916 it is important because the uh, two groups who had split moderates and extremists they will reunite in this particular session so that is why ac majumdar also becomes important old controversies became meaningless now after home rule league movement and all those things they understood like the old controversies are no longer um, valid and they should come together both leaders realized it led to political inactivity they have understood like if uh, because the british is just playing a policy of divide and rule already between hindus and muslims if the leaders senior leaders also get split and do things differently then nothing is going to happen uh, good for india efforts of home rule league movement we saw already they tried to unite the both tilak said no more violent methods methods of changing administration instead of overthrowing government so he also agreed to what moderates also were saying then gopala krishna gokhale and firosha mehta passed away at that time so they were one of the most senior leaders and because they were uh, no longer there the younger leaders or the other leaders thought like we should come together and work together for the betterment of india so that was one thing which happened moderates and extremists reunited another thing was lucknow pact that is congress and the muslim league also united so this session or this timeline is very important because that is 1916 uh, two groups are uh, uh, uniting one is moderate extremists and other is congress muslim league and now uh, what happened that all of a sudden white it muslim league uh, started favoring congress it was not towards love for inc obviously but problem was it was the more hatred towards britain okay so like enemies enemies will be friend so that kind of concept it was britain's refusal to help turk turkey in balkan wars so again you see these elite muslims who represented themselves as the face of the entire muslim which was not true but they what that is what they pictured again turkey the region of the uh, caliphate or their muslim uh, authority when britain refused to help those places in certain wars and in world war 1 these people took that as a reason and went against the british and that is why they joined hands with inc because they were hating britons for not supporting their religion annulment of partition of bengal so we uh, already seen like 1911 they annulled the partition so obviously these allied leaders who got dhaka as capital and all they won't like it so that was another reason refusal of british government to set up a university at aligarh with powers to affiliate so there were things happening which was all anti muslim and all these Uh, come uh, came together for the muslim league to develop hatred against the british sense of self government better for them than british ruling over them so again the same reason whatever moderates wanted that is what inc also sorry the muslim league also wanted and they thought to come together maulana azad al hilal and mohammad ali's comrade faced suppression during uh, world war 1 so uh, some works by muslim leaders were being faced in uh, suppression by the british government now we'll see the closing note what is the overall positive effect and negative effect of this reunion positive effect to us inc accepted sorry actually it is i think it's a typo the first one should be negative effect okay sorry for the typo negative effect is that INC accepted separate electorates okay what was given 1909 and this is what later leads to the two nation theory so it's a negative effect it is a negative effect that one second okay these two should be interchanged this is positive effect and this is negative effect so separate electorates and later it becomes two nation theory and pakistan is formed what is the other one it did not alienate minority so it's a positive effect the minorities were like muslim league considering themselves minorities they were also joined into the inc and the both of them agreed for self rule so this was a positive effect so positive and negative both we have seen this is the end of this chapter we'll see some uh, quotes and questions which can come for upsc the extremists of today will be moderates of tomorrow just like the moderates of today were the extremists of yesterday This is the Balgandhar Tilak quote, which he said uh, when extremist group were formed and they were in conflict with the moderates. Next one is Swadeshi movement was a turning point in modern Indian history. Elucidate question can come like this, and 
you can easily frame an answer i guess based on what we have learned next one is suraj sprit suggested that the policy of carrot and stick had brought huge dividends for the government elaborate the statement with respect to difference in working style of moderates and extremists this was i think asked in upsc once that is why i mentioned here so you have to basically explain the difference in working of moderates and extremists next one is the remedy lies with the people the 30 crore indians should raise their 60 crore hands to stop the curse of oppression force must be stopped by force so it's again telling about violent method of protest reforms may not save the raj but if they don't nothing else will so morley the secretary of state during 1909 he is telling like it is only reforms which can save india because the leaders were trying for self governance but morley is telling our reforms only will save your raj reforms of 1909 gave to the people of the country a shadow rather than substance the people demanded self government but what they were given was benevolent de- despotism so again the same thing which we discussed uh, the carrot policy whenever something was asked or demanded they will give something else and they will complicate things and create even more uh, problems 1909 reforms if you remember they had given separate electorate so hindu muslim split also will happen obviously they will have communal clashes and also they gave some small small reforms to appease the moderates so in one reform two shots now we'll end with the prelims questions which of the following extremists have become the president of inc before independence so you want, we have already seen suraj split happen because extremist leaders could not become the inc president now you have to tell whether any of these people could actually become the president of inc before independence i have not mentioned in this slide because i want you to read the wikipedia wikipedia has a tabular mm-hmm. column with pictures of all the inc presidents from 1885 to 1947 so it's a very easy way to learn all these president names we, we will cover it in lecture later but if you look at yourself it will be very helpful and you can answer this question very easily you have to tell whether anybody could actually become the president of inc which of the following leaders are matched correctly this we have covered already in this slide chidambaram pillai swadeshi movement in tamil nadu rajagopal achari salt satyagraha in tamil nadu salt satyagraha we will learn later but i have included in the options balgangadhar tilak swadeshi movement at pune ajit singh swadeshi movement at punjab so this is how upsc will form questions they, they have already asked about chidambaram pillai and rajagopal achari multiple times these they can also form a combination of these options and form a question we we'll see one more question which of the following inc presidents are matched correctly during the years of conflict between moderates and extremists this have been covered in detail for suraj sprit so just check whether it is right or not gopal krishna gokhale 1905 dada bhai naroji 1906 rash bihari ghosh 1907 madan mohan malaria 1908 just check whether ghosh or bose which are is the correct one okay so these were the important rulers sorry important presidents you have to tell whether everything is correct so we have completed a very big chapter which had a lot of events like the swadeshi movement boycott movement suraj sprit home rule league movement uh, moderates extremists revolutionaries it has a lot of coverage next two chapters as i told we can we will not do like this because this itself took more than one hour i think so we will try to do it in three or four parts the chapter 9 and chapter 10 because individually it will take 3 4 hours to complete the chapter that much huge it is and it is much more important also and if you need all the entire mcqs pdf from where we are posting questions at the end of each video you can contact us on our facebook page please answer the questions in comment section and give your feedback or suggestions so that we can improve the quality because unless you comment we don't know whether it is actually benefiting you only two or three comments i see in most of the videos so it does not actually motivate us to create more and more videos so please give your comments and feedback we'll come up with the chapter 9 part 1 soon till then thank you and have a nice day